For the posterior superior alveolar nerve block or the PSA, we ask the patient to open the mouth and the mouth has is not to be opened very wide. So just close down a bit. Yes. Open a bit, just a little bit. Yes. So this is the amount of mouth opening we need. We try to palpate. This is a zygomatic process of the maxilla. So we place our finger behind this process of maxilla and this is the infratemporal surface of the maxilla. The concavity here right now I am feeling the depression. So I am placing my finger there. Here we retract the mucobuckle fold. Just close down a bit. Yes. So this is the depression in which we need to insert our needle. So for PSA we need to insert around 16 millimeters of the needle. So that will be two third of my needle here above and the penetration point will be above the second molar. So we need to penetrate at 45 degrees. So just insert the needle here. We don't have to feel the bone contact here. This is where we need to aspirate two times. Aspirate. We can change the angle of the bevel. Again aspirate and after two aspirations negative we can inject slowly deposit around 1.8 ml of the local anesthetic solution. Now the most common complication with the PSA is a hematoma. So what I advise my students is whenever you take out the needle, just put your finger here and keep it pressing. Keep the area pressed for around a few seconds for around 15 to 20 seconds. Then you should check. You should always check that if there is any, any hematoma or swelling formation in the area. If not, then you are done with the PSA nerve block. You can close your mouth. So let us go to the what we have done just now is we palpated this process of maxilla the zygomatic process of maxilla we tried to palpate we asked the patient to open a bit we palpated this and we inserted our needle just above the second molar at 45 degrees and we tried to reach this area this is the area and our finger was already at the depression so we got behind this process of maxilla and here we injected our needle we deposited the solution at this point so this is our target area right and after removing the needle we ask we always try to compress this area with our needle so that or with our finger so that there is no hematoma formation so that will be all about the PSA nerve block and please remember if you want to anesthetize the first molar for a root canal treatment you will have to add local infiltration at the mesiobuccal root apices. Okay, so the mesiobuccal root or the first molar will not be anesthetized with the PSA nerve block. So you have to give some local infiltration in this area for a root canal of the first molar. So that will be all for the PSA nerve block. Cheers.